who's this other person watching? Uh, we are back Just on. Just one of our subs? All right. <laughs> I wonder. Thanks for the cue. <laughs> well, uh, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. I, I'm not good at this. <laughs> yeah, I could have guessed that. <laughs> uh, wonder. Wonder, wonder. Uh, what would you think? Wonder. Uh, it was a good movie. Yeah, it was okay. So Wonder is the 2016 movie about the boy Augie who was born with facial deformities. And yes, he grew up, you know, it's kind of stuck at home. You know, he just had a lot of health issues and needed a lot of different surgeries. And for fifth grade, which I, I was kind of confused because I thought they said going into middle school and to me, middle school is sixth grade or seventh grade, but I guess it was fifth grade, right? Seventh grade is technically junior high. Junior high. but Middle, mi- middle school seems like it'd be like fourth, fifth, and sixth. I thought middle school covered junior high plus sixth grade. I thought that's when it's a middle school. I don't even know. Yeah, it doesn't matter. How but, would we know? We were both homeschooled. <laughs> uh, we shouldn't tell people that, though. I mean, you were homeschooled. Like a nerd. <laughs> um, so he is going to school for the first time in his life, and it's a big step for him and his family. And he goes, yep. and kids make fun of him, but he gets friends, and like, kind of changes everyone's opinion in the school, and everyone loves him, and it's all happy. Yeah, um, I, I like the way this one was shot, like from the different uh, viewpoints. No, 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 no. That was so bad. It was so dumb. You didn't like that? No, it was so stupid. Uh, uh, because... Of course you would say that. No, oh, you better watch your mouth. Uh, it starts off telling Augie's story from the first day of school. Then it jumps back to his sister telling her first day of school. Mm-hmm. I'm okay at that point, right? I'm like, oh, this is kind of a weird thing. Then the next person is Jack Will, his friend. And it goes back to before the first day of school, okay. to to the uh, when he's getting shown around. The mom talking to him like, "Hey, you need to show this kid around." Then yep. it after that scene, it jumps right back into the story. There's no retransition back into the story. I I, I will say that there's a couple parts that are a little confusing. Like it's hard to tell exactly where we're supposed to be at. Mm. So I will agree with you on that. But I liked, like, I thought it was good to show the the background on on the friend Jack or on the uh, the, the sister's friend. I don't remember her name. Oh, that um, was dumb too. Uh, whatever. There was whatever. no there was no reason why they couldn't have done it in order and tell everyone's story. It would have been a better movie and made more consi- uh, more sense. You know, like they. They kept it a secret what the sister whispers into Augie's ear for his story. But then it's like four scenes later, they jump back and have her whisper in his ear. And it's like, you were made to stand out. So don't be afraid when people look at you. Why not just put that in the first time? Why keep that a secret? That seems like a goofy because thing. Because it's a secret, you fool. Oh, dang it. I always, you don't know art. You're true. You're true. That's You're, you're right. I don't you got know. that right. <laughs> Uh, no, yeah, I didn't like the time jumping. It, it, they would do it I, just for a scene, or like there was no consistency in how they were using it, because they would jump back into another perspective, which is fine, but you have to stay on that perspective until you you change back to something else. Like they should have, if they wanted to yeah. do use that style, they should have told Augie's whole story, then jump back and tell the story from his sister's perspective. Then jump back and tell the story from Jack Will's perspective. And then, you know what I mean? Like, actually use that that uh, storytelling element, use that structure to do yeah. what they're trying to do. And it, it was just dumb. It just felt wasted and was distracting every time they did it. Hmm. I don't know. I liked it, but I do agree. It could have been more clear the way they did it. Yeah. Um. What do you, how did you feel about the end? Uh, okay, so the end is he gets an award. Are you talking about like he wins the award for 
being nice. Yes, basically. Uh, that was fine. I'm going to tell you, though, I oh. thought there was going to be a different, darker ending coming. Yeah. That they, did not come true. Yeah. But before you tell I me thought, that, I, I'm trying to make a ahead. point on my end, too, here. That's why I brought it up. Oh, oh so sorry. <laughs> well, Everybody, stop what you're doing. Alan's got to make his point. No, well, I asked you a question because I wanted to talk about that. And you're like, well, before that, you're jumping all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> so Okay, go ahead. So... Like, I, I'm sure I've talked about it before, but my daughter has Down syndrome. Yes. And there are a lot of things, especially on social media and YouTube and different things like that, where they will use, take people with disability and do nice things for them, right? And it's like this feel good thing. Like you see all the time, uh, the kid who has is like paralyzed is wrestling and the other kid like lets him win. Do you know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. And okay. <clears throat> our, my wife and I, we talk about it all the time when we see stuff like that, where it feels like, even though it's, yeah, you're doing something nice for this kid, it feels like you are doing it for yourself. For yourself. Of course. Right? Like, and not so much with the kid and the wrestling thing. That That's that's a little separate, but it's still, it's still, you know, taking advantage of someone who has you know, disabilities or issues or whatever to make yourself feel better. And so when I watched this movie and it ended with he's getting an award for being positive, it felt, I don't know. It it just felt like not a good thing. I don't know how to explain it. But it wasn't, but it wasn't incorrect. No, that's the other thing. The, the issue with all the bad ways that people do it where they you know they point out like yeah you're different but we're gonna do something nice for you so you feel special so we look like good people that stuff right makes it really hard to feel like it's genuine when you give the kid with facial issues the award for being i don't even remember what the award was being positive yeah something like that you know and so it's just like is that is this a good thing? Cause it, it doesn't to my wife and I, my wife watched it with me. We both kind of felt like, well, I don't, don't really like that. Like, you know, it, it just feels like here's an award for being different. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Because I mean, essentially if he didn't have any disability, he wouldn't have won that award. Exactly. Right. Even if he was still getting bullied exactly the same way, just for maybe something different. Uh, yeah, he probably wouldn't have won. Hmm. Yeah. If kids were like, huh, if I look like that kid, I would go kill myself. And he just looked like a normal kid. He wouldn't have gotten an award <laughs> for coming back to school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, like it's not, it's not this huge this huge thing of that needs to be I don't know, like the standard the standard shouldn't be lowered so much that I agree. Just just being alive is noteworthy. Like with our daughter, with her disability, we don't you know, we're not like, oh you have a, a brain issue so just do whatever you want you know like we're not like we don't take it super easy on her i don't, I don't we're not like right. extra hard and we meet her where she's at but we have expectations we have expectations that to her best ability she needs to try as hard as she can and right when you award stuff award stuff that is just i, I can't think of the word like pandering almost like you know yeah here you go like you're, you're different than us. We're going to point it out. But in a nice way, is not beneficial to anybody. Like there's this video, this kid with uh, Down syndrome who wanted to be a, a, a MMA fighter. And he, him and his dad would go to jujitsu and they would train. And he kept telling his dad, like, I, I want to fight. I want to fight. And he set up this fight with another guy. And the other guy's like, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to punch you. If you want to fight, this is what's going to happen. And, you know, they went in, they fought, and he actually 
Like, he didn't bully him. He didn't, like, try to hurt the kid. But he, like, treated him with respect of, like, yeah, no, you're, right. you're, I'm going to treat you like an equal. And, like, to me, that is so much more valuable to, yeah. I'm not saying you should go punch people with Down syndrome. But if you're, if their dream is to be this thing or to do this thing, we shouldn't be lowering the standard just so that happens. Okay, so what if it's the exact same situation, right? You have a a guy with Down syndrome who's really into fighting, but he doesn't actually train or do any of that. He's just a, he just likes it, right? But maybe his parents don't want him to do it. But this fight is eventually set up like, should the guy still treat him like a fighter or should he treat him like, like how would that differ? Well, I don't think... Like if uh, someone who doesn't have Down syndrome wants to set up a fight but doesn't train should be able to do that either. Right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like. So like well, that. That fine. your your question is a bad question, Taylor. Yes, I get it. You're a bad person, and you should feel bad for your All right, questions. You know what? This podcast is. <laughs> um, I'm calling it. But yeah, so the ending I felt was kind of disappointing the way that they, you know, awarded him for being different. Not like it's hard to not feel like that was what the award was for. Not for overcoming the obstacles in his life, but just like, hey, you're alive. Good job. And yeah. that's disappointing. Um, Some, sometimes I wonder in, in those situations if it's. If it's less about okay, let's 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 say it's 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 the principal's decision, right? If mm-hmm. it's less about him, I don't know, maybe making himself feel good or whatever, and more about man, can you imagine if we have this boy here and and everything he's gone through, and then I give this award to somebody else? Like, what is what what kind of backlash am I going to face from all these people who think this kid deserves the award just because he is different? Yeah, I mean, that, that could be part of it, right? But that's not an okay thing either. No, I'm just saying, I don't know. It, maybe it's because initially the point was uh, it's a lot of people trying to make themselves feel good. Mm. But it, it it could be a whole different thing. I don't know. It's another dumb question. <laughs> I was just throwing it out there. All right. Those are my favorite kind of questions. Um, classic, but you were saying you thought it was going in a darker tone. So the friend Jack will, I totally thought that kid was going to die. Oh, you thought he was going to die. So at the end or towards the end, he they're at the summer open. camp thing, right? Mm-hmm. He falls back and slams his head on a rock. Um, I, at first I thought I was like, Oh, he's dead yeah. or he's paralyzed. paralyzed or something, yeah. but he wasn't. That's fine. But then it goes it later on <laughs> goes fine. to show he's him not like, paralyzed. It's okay. I'll, exactly. I'll let this he one touches slide. the back of his head. Yeah, and he's bleeding. Okay. Now, I feel like typically in movies or TV shows, yeah. they only show like someone someone could hit the back of their head hard, right? Yeah. And it's it's like an issue. But if they show that they touch it and there's blood, it it like is elevated to like a whole like. Oh, now this person's like about to die. It's not just oh they might have cut their head open. It's like oh if there's blood there, then they're probably gonna die. Yeah, like in real so, life, you can fall down and get a scrape and have blood. Exactly, and it's if no there's big deal. Blood, exa- but I feel like yeah, in 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 movies or whatever, if if they intentionally show you the blood on the back of their you know head, yeah. it's it's a much bigger issue yeah. automatically. Mm-hmm. No, I agree. So they do so they do that. I'm like oh great, here we go. And then uh, the next scene is them getting back into town and they're like getting off the bus. Right. And the kid's like leaving his head's like bandaged up and he's kind of like holding the back. And as they're leaving, he's like, I'll see you at the award ceremony. And I was like, nope, he ain't gonna make it there. (laughs) But he does. And then nothing ever came of it. (laughs) Yeah, they do. Why add that at all? Well, it made no sense to me. They do a lot of things tonally and um, they're just kind of story element wise that kind of subvert your expectations a few times. Uh, right. you, you kind of expect for something bad to happen 
to Augie at summer camp, but nothing ever happens. You expect Jack yeah. Will to die, like you're saying, because his head got busted open. You you expect these things to happen because that's what generally happens in these type of movies. And for me, I, I don't mind it so much that it was subverted, that your expectations were subverted, but it got kind of old, uh, the buildup with no payoff. Like it, it's kind of exhausting to watch, to to have these things almost happen and then nothing, almost happen and nothing. And not every movie needs to be dark. It's fine that it was a, a somewhat happy movie. But yeah, that's that's totally fine. But then don't don't build it up like that. Yeah, that's dumb. Yep. No, I agree with you. It's it's just a waste of my time. <laughs> Did you? Then I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there during the the award thing, and I'm like watching for the first time we see the kid. I'm like, is he there? Where is he? I don't yeah. see. Him. I'm like looking. I'm like, he's not there because he's dead. And then <laughs> and then finally it like cuts over and he's like sitting there clapping. I was like, wait a second. He's a he's a ghost, Taylor. That's the. You just the missed it. The whole time. Yeah. Um, did you watch Atypical? I think I talked to you about it a while ago, but on Netflix. I have not. No. So Atypical is a um, a show about a kid who has autism. And okay. he's like, I think he's, I think the whole story is kind of him figuring out how to have a relationship with having autism, being on the spectrum. And that kid is great. His storyline, his his arc, everything that involved that kid was really well done. Everything outside of his story, his mom, his dad, his sister, all that extra stuff was awful. It was not any good. It was really bad. It was not fun to watch. That's how I felt watching this movie. I felt like everything with Augie was great. Like I felt like that kid did a really good job, that his story was solid, like there was a lot of care put into that his story. But everyone else was so underdeveloped. They were just uh, plot devices to push the story forward. To, and they weren't actually characters. They were just momentum, you know, accelerators or whatever. And it was just like felt very underwritten for all the other characters. Do you feel the same way about the sister? Uh, the sister, the sister to a lesser extent, but she felt kind I of unnecessary. They did a good job showing how how it probably could be if you have a sibling with special needs, how they can go, you know, ne- I guess neglected would be the word. Yeah. And like how they deal with it, but like how also in the same, at the same time, they can't complain, right? Because they yeah. understand that their sibling needs the special attention and this and that. And they would be almost selfish to, they, they just kind of have to deal with it. Yeah. And I, like, I agree but I felt like they didn't really pull the trigger on that. Like she, she was kind of just whiny, you know, like they, yeah. they didn't really use that as a, uh, um, to like not play with, but to like dig into, like to really investigate, Oh, why, what happens when you are a sibling of someone who needs so much attention? who yeah. is so like always at a risk of being injured. Um, and she, I don't know, like she, she felt very much just like a normal teenager, like with normal teenage issues and not like, Oh, this is because of her brother. Like, I think she, the character seemed like she felt that way. Like, Oh my, it's my brother's fault that I'm having all these issues. But it's just kind of being a teenager, you know, like she didn't have any like dark issues. She didn't get mad at him. She's just like, Oh, mom doesn't pay attention enough to me. And dad's busy. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't. So, yeah. Yeah. Like, so You're still there. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> my, my, so, my uh, brother. Go ahead. Uh, oh, that's what I was going to bring up. I was going to say, how do you, because you can relate knowing that you have a brother who as a small child drank like a whole bottle of aftershave. <laughs> what? <laughs> you don't remember that? <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay. So one year we went to summer camp, right? Or Ironwood, maybe one of, one of those times. And my mom had bought me this <laughs> bottle of like Aqua Velva from like the dollar store. Yeah. 
no reason to sound like I shaved, right? I just it just smelled good. I like to put it on my face. So I had it in my bag. And then we got back from the camp, and I, I don't know if it was, like, the same day or maybe a couple of days later. I ended up at your house, and I had my bag with all my stuff still packed in it. Uh-huh. And your brother was, like, I don't know, two or three at the time, and he had gotten into it and drank the aftershave. I don't think that was my brother. Oh, I'm positive it was your brother. That sounds like a Whitney thing. No, no, it was before that. It was way before that. Really? It, yeah, as you should ask your mom or yeah, see if she remembers. Because I remember it being gone. I was so like bummed, but at the same time, are you sure like, you didn't drink it? I'm, <laughs> I, I had to really think about it, but now that I really think about, it, I'm pretty sure it was your brother. Yeah, I I have no recollection of that. Maybe I drank it, and that's why I just don't remember. I blamed on Nicholas at the time, but killed all my brain cells. <laughs> So the real question is to Nicholas, how do you feel growing up with a brother <laughs> with that kind of issue where he can drink an entire bottle of dollar store aftershave? <laughs> um, well, what, what I was originally going to say about my brother, Micah, who was adopted, he, uh-huh. and when he was a baby, he had a ton of special needs, right? He had a lot of medical stuff right. going on and to the point where his, his brother, his biological brother, was suffering uh like he was doing pretty poorly health wise because all the attention was on on my brother that they mm-hmm. you know they're you know always taking care of him always having to check on him and do things for him and all this different stuff that it was actually hurting his his biological brother his his twin brother and yeah. there is a definite uh issue when it comes to, you know, special needs and the siblings, you know, like I see it with my kids where we have to give so much attention, have to be so careful and so not overbearing, but like always aware of what my oldest daughter is doing, that it can be easy to neglect the other two or have too much expectation on them or not give them room to be who they are because we're, we're dealing with something else. So I, I, it's it's a shame because this movie really could have, you know, focused on that and done it, you know, it could have been more dark, like not, not like drugs, not drugs or anything like that, but just, you know, like the, the torturedness of it, the, like the anger and the, the frustration all could have come out in a, a, a logical, authentic way. And they, they just... Like yeah, that's okay. This is this is a happy movie. Let's not let's not add that, which is fine. But I guess the original question was, how did I feel about the sister? She just was kind of there. Yeah. Okay. I see it. But uh, yeah. So Flame for- Vortex. He had mentioned another thing. He said uh, uh, another problem is that they focus too much on the themes of the movie and don't really develop anyone else, which. Mm really promotes treating disabled people more different which i i I completely agree with like you it's hard because what do you what do you do when you have a story about someone with a disability the the focus is obviously going to be on the disability and overcoming that but you have to you have to understand that just overcoming a disability isn't like how do i say this it's not It's not that it's not notable or that it's not impressive or that it's not great that someone can overcome a disability, but you're really lowering the standard for them as a person. Mm -hmm. If, if you are rewarding, Hey, you're alive, you know, like imagine if, if every day your wife is like, Taylor, you're alive today. (laughs) Good job. You know, like I say, don't remind me. <laughs> like how? No, how yeah, terrible no, would that saying. make you feel? Because, but I mean, by those, by that logic, he should win that award every year of his life. Yeah, until he until he dies. Yeah. Which I thought, I thought he was going to die in this movie. I thought all the weird narration when they changed perspectives was mm-hmm. going to be them giving a eulogy, and then I remember oh, yeah. the first narration was Augie's. So then I was like, oh, they're just doing a weird thing. 
<laughs> it's just a thing. Yeah. Well. Well. Um. So, where does this movie fall on your new rating system? Uh, two. Oh, really? That's funny because I would have probably just given it a one. Yeah. Well, it's pretty close. <laughs> Like I think it Yeah, but it seemed like you would have called this one a zero. No, I I think it's I think it's good. I think Augie's story is really good. I think the ending was kind of a disappointment and the lack of development on the other characters was is frustrating. But his story, like you cut all that other stuff out or you just overlook that other stuff, it's really good. Mm-hmm. You know, it's he he does have a legitimate um thing to get over to the self-esteem or the lack of self-esteem that he has like we didn't talk about it but he always wears that uh spaceman uh helmet what is that what an astronaut helmet spaceman helmet (laughs) um he always wears that the astronaut helmet because he wants to hide his face and for to watch him the character you know gain the self-esteem and the ability to make friends and to realize that he's not different like that is all really good and then the movie's like hi but you're still different and it's like oh, okay this is i don't know kind of disappointing yeah um yeah that's it's a good way of looking at it that's all i got <laughs> all right well we will be back in a couple of days with our review of extract the jason bateman 2009 movie i believe uh yeah that sounds right yeah so follow us on twitter like us on facebook super subscribe to us on youtube we do all these videos um or we're starting to do them all live streamed that's why uh flame vortex he left a few comments during it and we're able to to reference those right away um <clears throat> he's a real fan he's a real fan the number one in our books i was kind of waiting for you I thought you might, <laughs> might say the something best. else. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but yeah, so do all that stuff. We appreciate it. Thanks for listening. We will be back.